Get a check up, walk in the building, I feel like the man Niggas be hating, I know that they fans But what a state, they know who I am How you going up, believe me, your man Yeah, you feel like you both What's going on YouTube? Welcome back to another video on the channel. And in today's video, we have another great video. We have another great video. So, in today's video, as y'all can see by the title, I will be giving y'all some more fashion do and don'ts. Now, I've done this video twice on the channel, and y'all pretty much have liked both of those videos. So, I figured I'm, it might be the time to bring another one of them videos to the channel. But, like I always say in all my videos, I don't want to tuck y'all heads out too much longer. So, we're going to go on and hop straight into today's video. Alright y'all, to start out, we're gonna start out with the don'ts because it is easier for me to give y'all don'ts over dudes. So for the first don't, the first don't is going to be stop dressing and posing like you are a part of opium. Now this happens a lot throughout fashion, especially on TikTok with these all black outfits. Now I'm not saying everybody that wears all black outfits is trying to portray or trying to act like they are a part of opium. But like I said, this does happen a lot throughout TikTok. They have their own section that we call them like the opium, vamp, whatever y'all want to call them, bro. They got their own section on TikTok. And I'm pretty sure most of y'all have ran through this on TikTok. And I'm here to tell y'all, bro, stop, bro. You're not opium. One, they don't know you. Two, you're not being yourself. And three, it is okay to get inspired by Kane Carson, Playboy Cardi, Destroy Lonely. But while you're getting inspired by them, it doesn't mean you're taking every single thing from their outfits and putting it into your fit. You can take bits and pieces from their style and style it your own specific way. And bro, a lot of y'all on Instagram, bro, like with TikTok, bro, when y'all are taking inspiration from Playboy Cardi, Destroy Lonely, King Carson, bro, I see the same exact fits like I've already stated. But the thing that makes me mad the most is when y'all put the exact same fit on and then y'all are posing just like you are Playboy Cardi, your King Carson, or your Destroy Lonely. And I'm here to tell you, bro, 90% of y'all that are trying to pose like these people, bro, you're not doing it right, bro. So you might as well stop trying to pose like them stop stealing their aesthetic and try to take bits and pieces and do it your own specific way so you don't get called an opium fiend a vamp activist whatever whatever y'all don't want to be called bro you would not be called this if you find your own way to basically style the things that they have styled bro because i see i seen fits like sometimes i'll see like a leather jacket some skinny tight jeans and some rick owens or vice versa i see a leather jacket some leather skinny jeans and then i'll see like the doc martin rick owens like bro stop bro that's not you bro i'm trying to tell you bro and like i always tell y'all bro what works for somebody else is not gonna work for you so you gotta figure out what you like and how you want to style it to basically find your personal style and make this make these clothing look comfortable on you if that makes any sense so stop dressing and trying to pose like you are part of opium because like i said they don't know you all right y'all so for my next don't my next don't is going to be stop using tiktok for inspiration now i know a lot of y'all are probably looking at me crazy and y'all don't understand why i'm telling y'all to stop using TikTok for inspiration. Well, I'm gonna explain my reasons for why I want y'all to stop using TikTok for inspiration. Now, 90% of these TikTok fashion people that y'all are looking up to are basically biting somebody else's drip and stealing other people's content. Like on TikTok, bro, there's rarely originality when it comes to the fashion scene of TikTok. There might be a few fashion content creators on a TikTok platform out there that actually have a personal style and actually have ways that they resonate their content and all that but everything else is recycled and it's already stuff that you've seen somebody else do another reason is because like you see a lot of these big TikTok people they have their own clothing brands right but their clothing brands is biting off somebody else's clothing brand like you're seeing the same puff print hoodies you're seeing the same full zips like you're just seeing the same stuff over and over again and like i stated bro there, there's no originality so if you're trying to pull your inspiration from tiktok bro to find a personal style bro i guarantee you bro it's gonna be a lot harder than you 
it's gonna be a lot harder than somebody that's not using TikTok to you to find inspiration, bro. Like I would say the best place to find some inspiration throughout fashion, you can use Instagram, even though there's still a lot of recycled content on Instagram, but there's way more creators on Instagram that have their own personal styles. Then you can use Pinterest as well. Pinterest is a great place to find outfits. You can even find clothing pieces that you never heard of on Pinterest that you can probably feel like you can add to your style and really resonate it throughout your style. Like me personally, bro, I don't use TikTok for inspiration. Like I do go on TikTok and I look at the fashion scene throughout TikTok because I have a whole YouTube channel on fashion. So I have to figure out like what type of video I can make. TikTok does kind of help me throughout there, but I'm not looking at TikTok for inspiration off of people's outfits. Cause like I told y'all, bro, it's all recycled content. And then not to toot my horn, but I feel like there's a lot of people on TikTok that don't really know how to dress, bro. Like I feel like they get shell shocked off the likes that they get the likes and then they think just because they got 19K likes on this get ready with me that that means they're the flyest person on earth. In reality, bro, when I look at it, bro, you're not, bro. Because one, your fit is not that, bro. You're not him and you're not her, bro. Because I get tired of seeing people, like a lot of people throw on some cargos. They'll throw on like a jacket and then they'll throw on them uh, cactus plant flea market Air Force Ones and they think that that fit is, is fine, bro. In reality, bro, the fit is trash, bro. I'm just putting y'all boys on game. The fit is trash trash bro that's not him and that's not her bro so i'm trying to tell you bro if y'all want to find your own personal style and figure out how y'all can resonate different things through y'all style bro if i was y'all bro i would stop trying to pull inspiration from tiktok bro now this next one bro i feel like this next one y'all gonna get confused about this next one too and this next one is going to be don't get too comfortable now when i'm saying don't get too comfortable i'm not saying don't i'm not saying don't buy comfortable clothes what I'm saying is don't get comfortable with the clothes that you have throughout your wardrobe. I'm trying to tell y'all, bro, because once you get comfortable with one specific style, bro, you're probably not going to want to get out your comfort zone. You're not going to want to wear anything else, bro. I'm trying to tell y'all, bro, because I have been there before where I got too comfortable with wearing skinny jeans and I didn't feel like I was going to be able to wear anything else. And for you to have that perfect personal style bro your style got to be versatile bro like you cannot be versatile if you're getting comfortable bro like i feel like in any situation not even just fashion and dressing you don't want to get comfortable in any situation like you can have a hundred thousand subscribers on youtube but if you want more bro you cannot get comfortable with that hundred thousand you got to continue to work and grow and that's the same thing throughout a wardrobe and a personal style you cannot get comfortable with one style you gotta stay you gotta stay uncomfortable or discomfort if that makes any sense you can buy comfortable clothes like i said bro there's nothing wrong with buying comfortable clothes but don't get don't get comfortable with buying just comfortable clothes buy things that you like like me personally bro we're gonna say me for example i buy sometimes i buy pieces that i don't think that i will be able to resonate with my style but Sooner or later, I find out how I want to style this and how I can really resonate this with my style when I get out my comfort zone. Like I said, bro, six months ago, bro, I was just into the skinny jeans, bro. I'm here to tell you, I was just into the skinny jeans. I didn't want to wear anything else. And then I bought my first pair of flares. I didn't know what to do with them flares. So I was in doubt about them flares and I was going to give them flares up so many times. But my intuition told me to keep these flares throughout my wardrobe and I didn't get too comfortable, bro. I try to tell you, I didn't get too comfortable. And now, flares are the biggest thing that I wear on a daily basis throughout my wardrobe. Like, that is crazy, bro. Like, one piece of clothing came from being my least worn clothing or a piece of clothing that I never thought I was going to wear to being one of my favorite things to wear throughout my wardrobe on a daily basis. That's what I'm saying. Y'all cannot get comfortable, bro. And for my last, don't my last don't is going to be wearing reps now bro this is another big trend that goes throughout tiktok and i'm tired of seeing this bro why are y'all happy with we were wearing reps bro like please tell me what makes you happy with wearing reps like i done had a couple comp sneaker companies hit your boy up in the past but on some collab and stuff but my thing is i didn't take these collabs because i feel like a lot of these sneaker that are rep brands 
they're sending these creators Basically, they're sending them the shoe for free and they're giving them like their own coupon code where they can make money, which I think that's that's genuinely nice that they're trying to help you make some money. But what they're trying to do is they're basically wanting you to scam people that you that are behind you. They basically want you to scam them so they can make more money off of you if that makes any sense. So every sneaker rep brand that has hit me up in the past bro they have not got a reply because i'm not gonna rely if i don't wear reps why would i make y'all wear these reps if that makes any sense like bro there is a lot of people on tiktok that feel like wearing reps is the way to go and in reality bro it's not bro stop fronting bro if you don't got it you don't have it bro you don't have to front like you have it by throwing on some reps so if you know you want something bro just save your money and figure out how you gonna get this piece, bro. Don't wear reps, bro. I feel like reps is really destroying the fashion community right now because you got them, you got them people that feel like it is okay to wear reps on one side, and then you got the people that don't want to wear reps and they want to wear all real authentic, authentic items on this side and it's like splitting the culture when everybody should be like right here bro like everybody should be right here and everybody really should be on this side of wanting to wear authentic bro because i never i never been that one to want to wear some reps bro like i don't think that it's not cool bro all right y'all now that was my last don't so we finna head on to the do portion of this video and for my first do my first do is going to be go thrifting now bro this is probably one of the biggest things throughout fashion that i feel like everybody should do especially if you are brand new throughout fashion bro i've always said bro don't get into fashion thinking that you have to buy all these expensive clothing to find a personal style and be the flyers man on earth because nine times out of ten the ones that are spending their money on just designer and expensive clothes they cannot dress bro i'm trying to tell you bro like i always say your favorite rappers do it all the time with buying these expensive clothes and thinking oh just because i spent ten thousand on this fit then my fit is better than this person that went to the third thing got a fit for twenty dollars one there there's a difference between that one one the person that went to the thrift and only spent $20 on these clothes, he saved a bunch of money. You just spent $10,000 on a designer fit and the fit is trash, bro. While this person spent $20 on the fit and his fit is looking, his fit is him, bro. I'm the one, I'm on that side with the $20 person. Like me personally, bro, I go to the thrift anytime, bro. I'm trying to tell y'all, bro. Thrifting, I feel like, if you can go thrifting for real, bro, I feel like that just really shows that you have a sense of style and you actually are really in to fashion bro because if y'all like i said in recent videos bro if you put a rapper your favorite rapper if you take all their money away and you give them like a hundred dollars to go to the thrift store bro i guarantee you they're not gonna be a, they're not gonna know what to do with that hundred dollars they're not even gonna know how to uh find a cool little fit because they don't have a fashion sense and they're too stuck on how much something costs bro so that's what i'm saying like bro y'all gotta go thrifting bro thrifting their thing is therapeutic for me, bro. If I don't want to talk to nobody, I don't want to do anything, bro. I can literally just go to the thrift store and do what I do and look through a bunch of different clothes. And another cool thing about thrifting is, let's say you may not even go to the thrift, thrift store particularly looking for anything. You just may just go in there just to look around and kill some time, bro. I guarantee you, bro. You will find some cool ass vintage pieces, bro. I'm trying to put y'all boys on game, bro. Like you gonna find some cool ass vintage pieces, bro. I feel like that is like that's just like the perfect. That's what makes thrifting so fun. It makes thrifting fun because you actually have to sit there and really look at these clothes and really think: Can I resonate this with my style? Can I do something with this more so than you going to the mall, going to Balenciaga? Picking up a pair of Balenciaga tracks, some Balenciaga pants, bro. Cause in reality, bro, once you go to the Balenciaga store, bro, you're probably gonna spend 800 plus, most likely, bro. You're gonna spend 800 plus. Now y'all, this next dude, this next dude is gonna be add color, add colors, bro. Now, bro, this was something that I struggled with six months ago before my personal style started evolving at a constant rate. Bro, I was stuck on wearing black and white, and that's all I based my wardrobe around. But like I told y'all, bro, I had to get out my comfort zone and start adding different colors throughout my wardrobe. And bro, like I said, when I took that initiative to really get out my comfort zone and start adding different colors into my wardrobe, bro, 
Oh my God, bro. Fashion is starting to get a lot more easier for me, bro. It's starting to get a lot more effortless for me to make fits because I'm making different fits with different colors. Like, bro, folks don't understand, bro. Literally, bro, like you can still wear your black jeans, bro, but throw like a, you can throw like a blue and black tee on. You can throw a red and black tee on. Just throw a different color throughout your fits, bro. I'm trying to tell y'all, bro. It's really going to make y'all fits pop a lot more and we are starting to approach the spring season and like i said in my previous fashion trends video bro spring is the perfect time to start experimenting and adding colors throughout your wardrobe because that spring energy just brings be colorful if that makes any sense but i'm trying to tell y'all y'all gonna be in a better position y'all really gonna I'm i think y'all really gonna start to enjoy fashion a lot more when y'all start adding colors and y'all not just basing your wardrobe off of black and white because black and white bro we all know nobody can go wrong with black and white but here's the thing wearing black and white every single day throughout the year bro i'm trying to tell y'all bro. i know y'all get tired of that bro because i i did bro so i had to step out my converse my converse on and i had to start adding different colors into my wardrobe and i'm still in my experimental phase of colors because i'm still trying to figure out what colors really resonate with me and resonate with my style and what colors i will be wearing on a daily basis i'm still pretty much experimenting but like i said bro when i took that initiative to start adding colors into my wardrobe bro it just started making fashion a lot more better bro all right y'all now for my next do my next do is going to be let clothes marinate throughout your wardrobe now this is something that i've also said previously in videos i feel like a lot of people should let a lot more pieces let a lot more pieces marinate through y'all wardrobe now and when i say that i'm saying so basically let's say you like a piece right you buy this piece but you do not know exactly how you want to style it or how you want to go by adding this throughout your wardrobe bro it is okay bro all you have to do is purchase the piece don't let a good purchase go away just because you don't have a mind on how you want to style it you want to purchase this piece right so then you just put it in your closet or put it on the back end of your clothing rack and let it marinate throughout your wardrobe for a little bit until you can figure out how you want to style it bro because i'm trying to tell y'all bro at the end of the day bro it's gonna be a lot better for y'all bro like i always say bro i done been through this same thing before bro i'm gonna use my ranger cartel flare denim like i always be talking about for example i feel like that is the first piece that i really let marinate throughout my wardrobe and now look bro it's one of my most worn pieces it's my uniform bro so i bought this piece when i was trying to get out my comfort zone six months ago i bought it probably about almost a year ago but when i was trying to get out my comfort zone i purchased this gray pair of flare denim i did not know exactly how i wanted to style it and where i was going to go with my style with this piece but so what i did was i put it on the back end of my clothing rack because i was thinking about getting rid of this piece so many times bro i don't think y'all understand i was trying to get rid of this piece so many times but instead i put it on the back end of my clothing rack and i let it marinate through my wardrobe for probably six months and then after that six months was up, bro, I went back to that piece and then I started adding it in to my style. I started putting it together with different clothes that I have, different pieces that I have. And now, bro, look, bro, it went from being my least worn piece in my wardrobe to my number one worn piece. That's like my go-to, bro. Like I told y'all, that is my uniform, bro. And I'm so happy that I did not get rid of these pair of pants because this has opened so many doors and so many different fits that i can style and post on my gram bro i don't think y'all know how crazy i'm finna go with these pants i don't really care how many times and how many pictures i take in some pieces if i purchase something i'm gonna wear it and i'm gonna wear it to the fullest bro i'm putting y'all boys on game so just because you purchase something and you don't know exactly what you want to do with it bro does not mean you cannot let it marinate through your wardrobe and till you find a way to style it bro so stop getting no stop giving away some of these gym pieces bro i'm trying to tell y'all bro it's all a process bro just let the process prosper and you will find the way that you want to style this piece i'm just putting you on game so i think that is gonna wrap up today's video so like i said that indeed is gonna wrap up today's Video. I hope this video really entertained y'all and I hope this video really taught y'all so y'all can improve y'all fashion knowledge because that is what this channel is 
about, bro. I'm trying to make this channel more so less about me and make this channel about us, bro. This is our channel. So I, I just want to say, bro, I really do hope this video did help y'all get a better fashion knowledge and y'all can start using some of this fashion knowledge to help build y'all fashion sense. And before we wrap up today's video, I just want to say, dude, I do really appreciate y'all for the support that y'all been showing me. Y'all went crazy on the last video. I want to welcome all the new subscribers to the channel. And I hope y'all continue to support the channel and hit the like button so more people that like fashion can get recommended to this channel and we can build a little family. But I don't want to do too much talking. So like I said, that indeed is going to wrap up today's video. It's been your boy Ty, aka Ty Not Rich, and I will catch y'all in my next video video.